Why is mutual respect important in a marriage? Well, I think it depends what you want to accomplish out of your <laughs> what you want out of your marriage. <laughs> um, but you know, one of the things that I've gotten so much from for a lot of people have said to me is, I had a baby while right when I had a, in the middle of having a book, and I've had so many people say to me, "Oh, I don't understand how you did it all. Like, how are you able to do to do both?" And I remember growing up, I used to go to these women's conferences, and I I've never never been very excited about marriage or having kids because. To me, I was always, I was so career oriented, but I had this fear that once that would come, like a husband and a child, it would take away from my, my career life. And I remember being in these conferences and, you know, women's conferences and having women say, it's true, like they just, you know, once you have the kids, it all falls on you, so much of it falls on you. And I've always had this fear that it would, having a kid would take, take you know, kind of the excitement of my life away. And what I've realized is, one, I married a person that in the end, I wasn't going to get married unless I had somebody who completely was in line with what I wanted. And there is that, and it's not just mutual respect, it's mutual respect for the things that you both want out of life. And I find that a lot of people that say they don't have it all, um, that they never work that out with their partner to some extent, or, or their partner doesn't have that mindset of, um, you know, I see that these are the three critical things for you. Let's see how we can work on them together. And my husband is an exceptional person in general, but he makes everything, he makes everything possible. I mean, we both have difficult travel schedules and he never says, well, you know, you're supposed to be here this week and I'm supposed to be here this week. This just isn't going to work. He's always like, okay, let's sit down. Let's sit down and talk about how we make this work. I mean, I fell in love with him and then he just happened to be this person that wanted to work everything out and he works out things you know even better than I can even think of I think sometimes well yeah like one of us can't go or you know we can't figure this out but we always seem to make things work and we have this respect in understanding that you know first things first is our child is going to be in good hands whether it's with him or the child's with me or we have incredible grandparents that are always around so we 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 make it work um, and there is this understanding that what's important to you is important to me because if I don't keep you happy, you know, I'm not going to be happy either. And I find that people that say that they don't have it all um, or they, there's no way to do it all, um, part of it is maybe, you're, you know, maybe the goals aren't realistic. I don't know what their goals are. But also, I don't know that there is a mutual respect on both sides for, you know what, when I married you, you didn't want, you only wanted two things and now you want three things. Well, we just move with the flow. It's like, okay, well, you changed what you wanted, but how do I still do things to keep you happy. And I don't know that everyone really goes out of their way to do that for the other person.